upon a time, in the middle of a dark and gloomy forest, there was an old house inhabited by a nasty ogre. It was Stinkum, a horrible ogre, who was known far and wide for his cruelty and his stupidity. So, woman, where's my soup? I'm starving. His wife was none other than the good fairy Shikodi, whom one day, when the ogre was in a bad mood, he had turned into a bad witch. Here you are. You should like this soup stink of the ogre. It's disgusting. <laughs> I am bored with your soup, witch. I want to eat little children. I'm an ogre, not a stupid little baby. As everyone knows, what ogres like to do most is eat little children. Hello, Isabel. I hope we're not bothering you. We'd love to take your son with us for a stroll this afternoon. <gasps> it's so beautiful out. It was my wife's idea. Well, what an excellent idea. Elliot! <laughs> Hello, Elliot. <laughs> no! What got into you, Elliot? You're coming, Elliot! We <laughs> thought we'd go for a little walk in the woods. Mom! Mom! Hurry up, Elliot! We're waiting for you in the car! I don't want to go with them. It's Stinkum the Ogre and Shikoti the Witch. They're going to eat me for sure. What are you talking about, Elliot? We've known Mimi's parents for years. What's got into you again? And besides, you know full well that ogres and witches don't exist. <laughs> go on, run. They're waiting for you. <laughs> Have a good afternoon. <laughs> it's super, isn't it? We're gonna have a ton of fun in the woods. Yeah, super. You should take off your necklace, honey. You might lose it in the woods. You're right, sweetie. You're not kidding. Your grandmother's necklace? Why, that would be a tragedy. Let's go. It's so beautiful here. Come on, let's go. Yeah, super! Kids, why don't you go play while we get lunch ready? Come with me. Tell you. The view is super from up here. Look at that! He looks like an ant. He's not an ant. He's an ogre. <laughs> okay, so what game are we playing now? Mimi, I'm serious. Your dad is Stinkum the Ogre, and your mom is Shikoti the Witch. And how do you know that, Mr. Know-it-all? If they were an ogre and a fairy, hmm. I think I would know. Well, I saw it in a book about ogres. No way! You saw Mom and Dad in a book about... You're their daughter, so nothing will happen to you. But me? I know they're going to eat me. Lunch is ready, kids. Huh? <gasps> Mimi, come back! Come on, Elliot. We're waiting for you. Hey, I guess I'm going to have to go get him. Oh, Dad, don't go! Leave Elliot alone! <laughs> No! Elliot, will you just calm down? And you, honey, you're much too old to be playing Tarzan. I think I sprained my ankle. Oh, come now. Let's have a look at it. Hey, kids, I've made a wonderful quiche. Uh... You mean you're not going to eat Elliot? <laughs> 
Be quiet, Mimi. We've got sandwiches and crisps if you don't want quiche, Elliot. You see, silly, they're not ogres. That really wasn't nice scaring Mimi like that, Elliot. Making her believe that I'm an ogre. You have way too much imagination. You shouldn't have told her. Now for sure he's gonna eat me for his snack. Oh, how horrible! We've only got one solution. We've got to get rid of them. Get rid of them? I know, it's tough, but we don't have any other choice. I mean, you don't want me to get gobbled up, do you? Oh, no, not that! But, uh, but what are you gonna do? Don't worry, it'll be super easy. Ogres and witches, you have to push them in the water. It paralyzes them and they go crazy. And then they forget to eat you. Do you really think so? I mean, Mom and Dad take a shower every morning. They just pretend. No! What are you doing, kid? Are you coming? Uh, uh. Go on, you kids go first. We'll follow you. Come on, honey. We're almost there. <laughs> Careful now! My ankle is sprained! It's now or never. <laughs> We've got to push them in the water. No, I can't do it, Elliot! <laughs> They won't be able to catch us. Hurry up! Wait for me! The forest ranger, we're saved! <laughs> Thank you so much. That was very kind of you. my ankle and my wife and I fell in the river. And he let the air out of all my tires. Oh, come now, honey. You're exaggerating things. We had a marvelous afternoon, and our little dip in the river was so refreshing. But to top it all, he told our daughter that I was an ogre and that my wife is a witch. You can't go around calling people ogres and witches as if I look like an ogre. It's true, my husband is not an ogre. But you do sometimes lack a sense of humor, honey. So, Mimi, you want to say goodbye? We're going home now. Goodbye! Elliot? Elliot? But it's true! They're ogres, but nobody knows it. And if there hadn't been any quiche, well, they would have eaten me. And when ogres fall in the water, they, uh, they go crazy. Oh, no! My necklace! Uh-oh. <sighs> Are you absolutely certain you came this way? I don't know. It looks different at night. Looking for pearls is no fun. I've got homework to do. Say there, Elliot. Were there a lot of pearls on that necklace? Hey, I found one. Uh, no, just a pebble. <laughs> <laughs> 